we've come to uh, Mahara. Mahara. To meet Patrick Brady, award winning architect. And um, just ask Patrick about a few of his thoughts about the Thames Deckway as an uh, architectural design and engineering concept. So, work away. Well, ask me anything you want. Okay. Uh, in terms of what I have seen, in terms of what I have seen to do, and in terms of the deckway, uh, I think it's something that should have happened a long time ago. I actually love looking. I've been in a lot of cities. A lot of cities throughout the UK and across, um, to me, in terms of transport, the quickest way in around any city is always going to be the bike. Mm -hmm. I've been on the tube, I've been on the buses, I've been in cabs, I've been in the mall, but for anybody, for going even travelling, or visiting, or living there, me personally, it's always the bike, and I always use the bike now. I do use the Boris, Boris bikes a lot, mm -hmm. but I'm always well concerned in the Boris bikes that the fear factor that cyclists are nearly second to anybody else in the road, mm -hmm. and it's not something I'm comfortable with, but mm -hmm. I can't help it because the reason I need to get to meetings, I need to get places. Mm -hmm. So, like, I, I was looking into, like, I have been looking into Thames that way, and I think there's an opportunity not only to be bring something that is nearly unique to the world, but it's something that can be actually set not in the head of ever. Because mm -hmm. I think at the same time, nothing wants to push itself to the top. Mm -hmm. And it's their architectural ways, it's their cultural ways, it's their entertainment ways, it's their visiting ways. But that's just something more, I think, would help push it the whole way. Uh, but I love the idea, I love the concept, and everything about it, it just seems so practical. But the way it hasn't happened, I just don't understand. <laughs> and that's just me being honest. Thanks. And what's the um, thoughts and relationship between architecture and the environment? Because your, your home here is so sensitive to it, its uh, sense of place. It, uh, as architects and environment, no matter where we design or what we do, maybe a building, maybe a structural, maybe whatever, maybe a bridge, the environment is what we design and the environment comes first. Mm -hmm. So like at the same time when I think about design and ways, the two marry together and if they don't marry together, they don't work. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time they can marry, marry together, they can be, but they can completely be two different, uh, like something that's sculptural mm -hmm. can still stand out, but still respect this environment. Mm -hmm. And at the same time I think, Looking at what, what I have seen to date on the Thames that way, it doesn't for me stand out that it's imposing. It's actually a thing that can actually be used, mm -hmm. but it's actually a feature, it's nearly like a sculpture. Mm -hmm. So like it just adds a wee bit more character, because along, when you're up and down Chelsea, or up and down the Thames that way past Chelsea and places like that, it's maybe not the necessary side of the Thames. Mm -hmm. So it just mm -hmm. adds that wee bit of more mm -hmm. wow factor. Mm -hmm. So I, I think, I don't think it's an issue whatsoever. I think if it's done right, and the process and what the way it's looking at the moment, they're on the right tracks. Uh, but I think it just, it's nearly there, it's nearly there. Um, for me, I can't see really the massive issues why it can't happen. And that's mm -hmm. just me looking at it. And I mm -hmm. love it to happen. Because mm -hmm. uh, I think when you're on a bike, it's that only time that you have to yourself, from where you go from A to B, mm -hmm. not having to worry about being knocked down, don't have to worry about where you're going. Mm -hmm. So basically when you're on the bike, it's a stress free, it's more therapeutic. Mm -hmm. And I think when you're loving it and nothing, everything's a mm -hmm. hundred mile an hour, mm -hmm. you need every bit of time. Yeah. And I think that is the best way for it. Really good point. And on the river, it's such a beautiful environment. Well, everybody yeah. talks about the river and things like that. Water for me, and a lot of people, that is that when you hear it, when you see it, it does sort of these are actually, I don't know what it is, it's mm -hmm. just, just the like it's in us. Mm -hmm. So the next of you're cycling across the waterway or on the river, you can't help but look at it. Mm -hmm. At the minute, I've cycled up and down, it's the last place I want to look at. Mm -hmm. I just feared that mm -hmm. I might not get to the end of my road here, mm -hmm. just for the speed of things. So, no, definitely it's something that should be achieved. I don't know why it hasn't happened. I think it would be a great thing in that person. That's the way I look at it, but it's the same. Right? Everybody's got their own opinion. Right. Thames the next week, for me, when I think about it, it is a north transport system, mm -hmm. but that transport system, I in my head, when you look down to the master plan, nothing will bring nothing together and spread nothing. Because mm -hmm. bicycle and cycle, everybody knows, is the quickest way around any city. Mm -hmm. So like you've got different areas all around through London, and the likes of that there will get people further and closer mm -hmm. a lot, lot quicker. Mm -hmm. And they'll be more willing to go further and closer. Mm -hmm. So like at the same time, it's more to me, yes, it's lovely, it's sculptural, it's got the Thames, You've got all that. Looking outside the box, I think there's more and more opportunities that if you can connect 
the different sides of London, mm -hmm. uh, maybe where the east, the west. It, it means even for businesses, even for people living, it, there's so much more comes out of it, not just for everybody to use, mm -hmm. but it connects the city. Mm -hmm. The tube's in its scent, does work, but at mm -hmm. the same time, the tube, it's there, and the tube's got their points, mm -hmm. and they're never going to change. Mm -hmm. The deck way, I think, adds more to that. Mm -hmm. And I think at the same time, tubes, yes, everyone wants to go on the tube, but at the same time, it's not your own. Mm -hmm. And the more banks, always we all want to see the ability, global warming, all that. There's no more, more or less beneficial than the less than a bike. Mm -hmm. And walking, obviously walking will get you as fast, but no, mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely, all the other cities like the likes of Amsterdam, they're, they're all already been there, they're all at that, mm -hmm. and they've all got their transport systems in place, and they all know what way is going, and that's the way they're thinking. And to me, for nothing, to be so far ahead architecturally wise, so far ahead in fashion, so far ahead in we're so behind when it comes to transport. Mm -hmm. And I think this will bring us, bring us up to speed, if not above everybody else. Cycling and nothing. Cycling and nothing for me is something, it's nearly a necessity for me. Because when you work in the world of what we do as architects, and any professional, it's all about time. Mm -hmm. And time is nearly off the essence. And the travel and commuting through nothing can be really time consuming and hectic. And as I say, the bike is a quick one. But at the same time when I'm on the bike, I cannot concentrate enough that the fear of being knocked down by a car, yes, there's cycle paths along the sides of the roads, yes, there's different cycle paths, but they're quite minor around them. Mm. You're always aware, and if you don't know nothing, like I don't know nothing so well, you're always looking out and you're just waiting to be knocked. So you can't actually enjoy your cycle, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I have to use a cycle. So that's really my opinion of it. Now, for somebody coming in, and I even think for the next people actually living in London, they don't know nothing well either. Like they've got their same roots, but if they want to go somewhere different, it's more they think about it and say to themselves, well, should I take the bike or should I take the tube? But you don't always want to say, I'll take the bike. And they know they can get there and enjoy getting there and be more and be safe. I don't think the, the pollution levels at the moment, we don't all know. Uh, I mean, myself, I don't know. It seems relatively great. But through time, I mean, you know the likes of the Hong Kong Bay. It's got to stay just there. It can't be reversed. We could end up waiting so long that we can't reverse it. And then we'd be saying, but what if? And the only thing I hate is the word is what if? Now's the time to act. Mm -hmm. So like pollution levels for me, yeah, it may be good now, but realistically, the data sheet and the information we're telling us different. But the longer we wait, you can't reverse that. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing. It's definitely a big, a big thing that people should be pushing. It's not always about the time deck, it's about the cycle. And the more cycling, you haven't been able to also learn Second, you bring into health, you bring all that into consideration, less people going to the hospital. That all comes into the equation, people enjoy that. It's not just about the person making the cycle, but the likes of people walking, not getting taxis, not getting buses. One of our objectives for the Thames Deckway is trying to synthesise in a really simple way architecture, arts, engineering, um, space, science technology, such as satellite technology flows. Um, digital and make it very very simple as a functional functional and aesthetic mm -hmm. marriage um, and as an architect you're an expert at integrating a lot of aspects into a building um, what's your ideas about the relationship between form function and aesthetics well um, both form function made as I say between building or anything uh, the simpler you make it the longer the last mm -hmm. Uh, but obviously at the same time, one of the time to make it is less carbon, eco-friendly, not use as much as energy as possible, but at the same time, be very friendly to those who don't know. So for example, if somebody is maybe not up to speed in all this, that they can still enjoy it, and it's not, you're not basically letting go of what people can and cannot mm -hmm. do. Uh, but I think in terms of design, in terms of all that futuristic stuff, mm -hmm. that's the way the world's going. Mm -hmm. Like your phone, computers, everything's going that direction. So at the same time, you would do when you're thinking about the Thames, you need to be thinking about it down the line. And I think that something that's completely controlled on its own, it maybe does not use energy, mm -hmm. it answers every every question mm -hmm. in the book. And for me, like it's, why does this not happen? Mm -hmm. But it, 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 architecture is the same. You've got so many puzzles and so many equations and so many things that you have to bring together to make it work. 
And it's not to say that you can't make it work, you just find a means how to make it work. And like, I'm a firm believer when people say things can't happen, mm -hmm. they can't happen for people, from my opinion, they don't want to make it happen, or they don't want to investigate it, they don't want to be lazy, or they are lazy. I think if you take your time and you work and you research and you do all that, mm -hmm. and you bring it together, you'll end up having that perfect project. And if that perfect project works, it'll then be basically a statement that then can be rolled out everywhere. Mm -hmm. So like, all the research and all the years and everything, maybe from houses to sculptures to buildings to everything, you don't want to lose that research. You want to develop it. And I don't think if you ever, if you lost the development of one thing, you never see what's going to happen down the line. Mm -hmm. So I think that all comes into part of any project. Mm -hmm. And I do think the Thames, I don't know the full ends on it. I know the concept of it. I know what they're trying to do. And I know visually what they're saying. But at the same time, it's a massive starting point. And I think it's got to the stage that there's been so much done that I think it'll be an absolute crazy some that if it doesn't happen in 30 40 years time it's something we need to develop to learn in 30 40 years time because mm -hmm. the world will change nothing will change mm -hmm. but we're going to be behind the times mm -hmm. and at the same time we want to lower traffic and the more the nicer place you make London for people to come to enjoy and to get around London it's not just about the traffic it's about London in general mm -hmm. and London is the key city in the world mm -hmm. everyone wants to be part of London and I think it's just another added thing to the equation to make it the perfect setting. Mm -hmm. That's the way I look at it.